Mm. Right. <laughs> we are here at NSC 2017 presenting uh, Google Spotlight Stories, and they're showcasing a lot of the shorts, including Senna Jaguar, which is my short. Uh, it's going to be an eight minute uh, story. And what we've shown here is a two minute teaser to give people a taste of what uh, the story is. Senna Jaguar uh, was something that I always wanted to be a Mexican wrestler. And so uh, I like the idea in VR that when you put the goggles on, it's like someone putting on a Lucha Libre mask. And this idea that uh, I can make uh, white people Mexican by putting on the goggles. And so the story for Senna Jaguar is you're the ghost of a wrestler uh, and you come on Day of the Dead to visit your family and you see that your son is a failure. And so you're going to follow him on his journey, and eventually he will redeem himself. Uh, but that's that's something that I heard about VR, where people would say, it feels like you're a ghost. So I said, well, I'm going to write a story about a ghost. And so that's Son of Jaguar. Well, VR, VR is a very complicated medium. It was way harder than I ever expected. Uh, in cinema, we are given the gift of controlling time and frame. Here, you don't have the control of time or framing. Uh, the audiences can look around anywhere. And so the way I approached it was theater. When you go to a theater and you watch a play, the audience is all sitting in different places and they're all seeing a different version of the play and they can look around, they can look up and down and so that's how we tried to approach it. Um, it was very difficult. At first I thought VR was a new technique but I think it's a new medium and I think the way we should approach stories uh, is always with emotion first and then the technical stuff. Early VR I, th I thought a lot of the pieces were more about the technology not enough about emotion.